You don't find Kathy attractive. No, I don't. No. I'm not going to tell my nine months pregnant wife that I find her replacement objectively attractive. Just like I'm not going to tell my two-year-old daughter that violent video games are objectively more fun. It's true, but it doesn't help anybody. Maybe I'll just move in with my boyfriend because he's kind of a slob, too. Okay, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> no, I, um, well, I'm not going to, I'm... I'm not gonna move in with anyone unless I'm engaged. Have I not proposed to you yet? Mm, I don't. Mm. Oh. No. Well, mm -mm. that's coming. Oh, right now? No. I'm not gonna do it right here. That would be rather lame. Okay, so then when? Pam, I'm not gonna tell you. I hate to break it to you, but that's not how that works. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm serious. It's happening. Okay. And when it happens, it's going to kick your ass easily. So, stay sharp. I've been warned. I am not kidding. Got it a week after we started dating. Oh, Dwight, we're so close. Just buy us a few more minutes. Well, they just called me in for an update, so I'll call you right back. Okay. Okay, great. Hey, Dwight, uh, send in the subs. <laughs> oh. I just want to say how happy we are that all of you are here tonight. And I want to especially thank those of you who have traveled from far away to be here with us tonight, especially the Florida cousins who obviously can't take a hint. <laughs> Four years ago, I was just a guy who had a crush on a girl who had a boyfriend. And I had to do the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, which was just to wait. Uh, don't get me wrong, I flirted with her. Pam, I can now admit in front of friends and family that I do know how to make a photocopy. <laughs> Didn't need your help that many times. And uh, do you remember how long it took you to teach me how to drive stick? Like a year. I've been driving sticks since high school, so uh, yes, yes, for a really long time. That's all I had. I just had little moments with a girl who saw me as a friend, and a lot of people told me I was crazy to wait this long for a date with a girl who I worked with, but I think even then I knew that I was waiting for my wife, so. What did he say? Was it my fault? Yeah. He said that you told him how much you love me. About how you feel when I walk in a room. And about how you've never doubted for a second that I'm the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. I guess he's never felt that with my mom, even at their best. You okay? Yeah. Is it... Is it pebbles from that beach in Jamaica? Oh, go <laughs> easy with the shaking. You like it? 
I love it. Yep, I do make great Christmas gifts. But I couldn't make that. Jim! What's going on? Where's the bell schnickel? Oh, oh my god! What are you doing? Last time I saw you, you were whipping me out of the building. Shh. Let's not speak of that. The pig rib! We could totally break the pig rib! I'm gonna dig it out of the trash! What happened? Did you miss your bus? No. I was, was my wife. The new assistant to the assistant to the regional manager is Dwight K. Shrew. Yes! Yes. Thank you. I think you might want to kneel for this. And yet, the manager for Dunder Mifflin kneels for no man. Wait. That's it. Okay. Look really, really good. Okay, from now on, anyone who needs to speak to me has got to go through me first. All right? Hey. Hey. You all right? What's going on? Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. I know, I know that you're like happy and like you had fun today and that yeah. was fun, but what about a year from now? What? What about five years from now? Bam. Because I'm so glad you're back, baby, but I'm just, I was talking to Daryl and he was talking about the trip and I just feel like you're giving up so much. This was my decision. Not yours. You okay. didn't force me. I kind of forced you to do You did not force me to do this. Yes, I did. I don't know how else to tell you. I'm afraid you're going to resent me, and I'm afraid that resent this is not you. enough for you, and I'm afraid that I'm not enough for you. Not enough for me? You are everything. Thank you. There's only a handful of reasons why someone would ever go to a courthouse in Ohio and not be charged with a crime. To claim an inheritance from a deceased relative, to obtain a learner's permit at age 14 and a half instead of 15. Aaron, let me see a birth certificate. Sure. There are other reasons to go to Ohio. We're getting married today. <laughs> so it turns out it's the closest place to get a marriage license without a three-day waiting period. Tell them how it happened. Okay, so we're going through all the wedding plans, and boy, it is complicated. And very expensive. Very expensive, because you say you want a small wedding, and that's great, but then you have to You can't leave anyone out. No one. Okay, just get to the good part. Right, oh, so this morning we are having breakfast together, mm -hmm. and I just looked up from my cereal and I said, you know what I want to do today? I want to marry you. I had just woken up. I didn't look cute. That's how I knew he meant it. <laughs> you realize you were taking him out. <laughs> Beers? You closed it? I closed it. Yes! Oh! Um, congratulations to you, thank sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Well done. Nice thank job. you. You know what? Screw this. Oh. Ooh. Bow. Wow, wow.